when I went to law school, I was really expecting I would go to learn the law. That really proved not to be the case. What we learned was that uh, we were learning about the evolution and the theory and the, the structure of legal thought. And I remember in my elements class with Phil Neal, I thought, wow, this is going to be a different experience. We're learning how to think. We're learning about the structure of, of law, which makes organized society possible. And it was an entirely different experience. That and, and I think constitutional law really gave me a thought that there was something different going on here. I wasn't going to be learning law to pass a bar exam. I was going to be learning law uh, and learn how to think in a way that would, I would value the rest of my life. You know, I took a, a path that a lot of us did following law school. I took a summer internship, associate, summer associate position at a law firm here in Chicago. That led to a, a permanent position. I ended up practicing law, uh, corporate and securities law at a law firm in Chicago for 26 years. I actually spent about half of that time as the managing partner. And I had the opportunity in my early 50s to make a switch, and I did. I went into a new profession. Uh, I got involved in philanthropy. I now run a family foundation. When I finally found my position and ended up at the foundation, uh, I learned that much of what I had learned in law school was very valuable. Uh, how to analyze problems. Let's face it, the nonprofit sector is dealing with some of the most critical, critically difficult issues that society faces today. And in philanthropy, our goal is to evaluate nonprofits to see who's addressing those problems most effectively and to develop strategies, grant making strategies. Uh, to ensure that we really have impact with the limited resources that we do at a foundation. Well, all of that, all those analytical skills that I learned in law school really come to, you know, came to play very quickly uh, when I joined the foundation, I, and I found it incredibly valuable. I was interested in politics, but I didn't really understand the importance of public policy. And when I got into law school, as I was saying earlier, we were looking at kind of the theory and the evolution, the structure of law. I started to appreciate, started to appreciate the importance of public policy on society. And when I got into philanthropy, well, when you're looking at the social problems the nonprofit sector is dealing with, public policy is critical. So I've become very involved in that side of philanthropy to the extent you're allowed to in a private foundation setting uh, to learn about those issues and to ensure that our grant making takes into account those public policy issues. If I didn't have the law school background, I never would have appreciated that importance. And it really didn't come to fore until after I'd been out of law school for more than 25 years. So many things that you think you're benefiting from law school early in your life don't really come into play until much later.